Hey, good morning, guys. Uh, Dennis here, kicking cancer, mining, and metal detecting. Um, uh, I'm, I'm I'm traveling right now, so you know uh, uh, I spent two months in Virginia uh, relic hunting, and that was awesome. And I did find some relics, and I really enjoyed that. Um, and I'll go back to Virginia on my way back to Florida, as well as on my way after this trip eventually at any rate uh this morning i'm in kaiser new hampshire and uh i'm in a little camp here at kaiser pond and i gotta tell you this place has been fantastic it's i got in late uh late afternoon check out the view from my campsite um and of course, there was a tropical storm coming through, which really sucked, but, um, so I'm out here, I'm making some coffee this morning, oops, uh, I'm making some coffee, um, getting the coffee going, and the French press action here this morning, All right, so look here. If y'all are traveling and you're going through New Hampshire and you need a place to stop before Concord, um, there's Kaiser Pond. It's uh, it's an RV park. Uh, they have they have spots for uh, for for vans like mine, big and small. Um, as you can see, they have electrical, so I'm connected. Uh, without having to use my Jenny, uh, this is Kaiser. I'll give them a, a shout out here. Um, young lady at the desk last night was really helpful and very friendly and kind. And and um, I bought some homemade jam here last night that uh, her brother makes. I tried it out at Strawberry Banana, and I got to tell you it was pretty darn good. Um, uh, We'll be pulling out of here this morning uh, on our way to um, Pippins, Phillips, 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 no, Phil, I have no clue. I'm going to Maine and uh, um, I'm going to have an opportunity there to do a little bit of metal detecting on uh, some 1700 sites and uh, I've got a permission for a Viking village um, on the coast uh, it's near Bath and uh, so I'm going to be going there half of the village is underwater um, so I'll have to get out the the PI machine the underwater machine so that um, so that we can take it in the uh, catacombs, if you will, um, and do some underwater metal detecting at a Viking village, Viking era village. Super excited about it. Um, I've taken a little walk down here, a stroll, if you will, to the to the lake and uh, a pond. I don't know. I don't know what makes a pond a pond and a lake a lake because they both have water in them, right? Um, so, so, uh, uh, nice dock. They said there is some bass in here, but due to the storms last night, um, might be more difficult to catch anything today. Uh, you know, there was a tropical storm that came through here last night. If you have children, there's a playground, there's badminton. Um, there, the, the, uh, the campsites, they all have electric and water. <laughs> Damn Corona. Okay. Um, <laughs> so, uh, they've got boat rentals. So if you want to take out a boat, run a boat, go out on the pond, do a little fishing, or just catch a little exercise. Uh, temperature this morning was 70 degrees, I think. Not bad. Um, so, we're only here for a few more minutes, and we're going to get on the road and head for this uh, Pippin's. 
Phippens, Phippensburg, um, Maine. We'll be there for eight days, and then we're going up by um, New Brunswick and uh, the Bay of Fundy. I'm really excited about taking my handheld detector down there at the Bay of Fundy down into the crevices during the low tide. But again, your tides there, as I understand, are 15 to 20 feet, which is not like Florida where you get two or three feet. Huge tides. So uh, I have to get a better look at the tide charts before I venture down in. I've been feeling pretty good, excited about the trip, and uh, excited for some coffee this morning. Um, many thanks to my friend, my new friend, uh, in New York that gave me this, uh, <clears throat> this little water heater thing from a coffee. Um, it is awesome. Um, it allowed me to brew up a pot of water in about 90 seconds um, so I can make my coffee this morning really quick without having to use any propane. Um, as you see, I've added the, uh, or as you will see, um, <laughs> I've added an electric grill to the van. I have the electric stove top inside of the van, and then I've also added a, um, a hibachi grill uh, to the van. So I think we're going to get away from the Coleman stuff, the uh, the gas powered, um, and and go to uh, strictly electric um, because most places that I'm going to camp at are going to have power. And if they don't, I've got the generator on the back. So I will always have power. Um, and I think that the use of the gas, is, I'm probably over that at this point. Plus, um, these places here, if you look around, they've got uh, little campfire pits. So if I wanted to cook over fire, I could get a grate out and throw it on top of the campfire pit right there. See that? This one's got a built-in campfire pit, campfire ring. Put my put my grill across the top and uh, and grill over an open fire if I if I felt like I wanted to be. Um, there's just so many better options. That's the point of this, and so. Um, at any rate, we're going to do a little cleanup here this morning and then uh, um, get on the road and head for for Maine. Um, I might try to get the GoPro up on the dashboard this morning and do a little GoPro video as I'm going and do an upload of that when I get up into Maine. All right, guys. This is uh, Dennis with Kicking Cancer Money and Metal Detecting saying, yeah, man, living the dream, baby. Thanks for checking in, and uh, uh, please uh, share this video and like it and subscribe. And tell all your friends and, and tell all your enemies and tell your grandma, tell your tell your grandpa, tell your baby sister and your big sister and your mom. Tell everybody you know to follow me. <laughs> well, okay, this is what happens when you listen to me before coffee thanks guys i'll see you uh i'll see you on the next hole all right